Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brandy Chanel coming to you with another video. This is going to be the third video that you see in this outfit because I'm just trying to get everything that I can done. And I just went and checked my mail and I got my boxy charm. And I know I said I was going to do Ipsy and Boxy Charm together going forward, probably. But my Ipsy hasn't come and my boxy charm did. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it while I have it. And I am dressed. I need to find something to hold on. Find something to cut it open with. So, this is Boxy Charms um, anniversary month. So we're getting six full size items this month. So that's exciting. Here is the card that comes in the box. It just says Boxy Bash because again, it's their birthday month. And of course, on the back of the box, it has my items and how much they're worth. And I have variation number two. And okay, so first things first, I have this Cover FX Blurring Primer, and this retails for $38. And um, let's see, there we go. And I'm really into primers. I like trying different ones, especially blurring ones, because as the older the older I get, uh, the more I can see my pores, and that's not a good look. So there's that. Next thing I've got is this BoxyCharm Times Beauty Creations Matte Lip Gloss. I have seen a lot of people talking about this because that is definitely an oxymoron. How do you have a matte lip gloss? That doesn't make sense. It's either matte or it's a gloss. So, I don't know. But mine is in the color Kiss Me. Kiss Me. And this is just what it looks like. Just a nice like almost a mauvey pink tone it smells good it smells like um fruit candy like really does smell good though and this is just what the color looks like it's pretty so I'll put that back in there. Next item that we got is just this pretty vulgar gel eyeliner in the color Blacklist. Oh my gosh, this packaging is... Okay, so pretty vulgar. I, we've gotten them in the past and their packaging is... Hold on. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but their packaging is always A1. Um, this is beautiful, but see, their other packaging is beautiful, but it feels cheap. This does not feel cheap. This is heavy. This is weighted, and this is beautiful. Like, this is beautiful. I love this. This is just a black gel liner, and this, oh, sorry. I didn't tell you guys how much this lip color retails for. This lip color retails for $10. Now, this inkwell is this ink pot is retails for twenty four dollars. Pretty vulgar is pretty expensive, so that's how much that retails for. Next is just this three this trio eye eye brush set from Aesthetica. It's the three piece eye trio, and it retails for forty five dollars. That sounds a bit excessive. I wouldn't pay $45 for three brushes, especially from Aesthetica. That's a brand that's um, on Nordstrom's rack often on sale. So you can always <clears throat> get stuff on sale. So I would never pay full price for anything that they have. Um, but it just comes with a spoolie. Um, this is, I guess, supposed to be a liner brush, but this is huge for a liner. This is huge for a liner brush. Um, when I say huge, I mean it's wide. Like, that's not very thin on the ends. Um, so I wouldn't use that for that. I might, I would use this to clean up underneath my brows probably, but it's still kind of thick for that too, to be honest. I don't know. I wouldn't use that for that though. Um, a spoolie and then a little liner, liner brush. So that's the, the three brushes. So that's cool. Again, I wouldn't pay $45 for that. And then we've got another Aesthetica brush. This one is the P12 face brush and it retails for $27. If I could get it open, I wouldn't pay $27 for it either. But 
that's why I love BoxyCharm and um, Ipsy because you always get a you get brushes and brushes tend to be expensive and uh, this is a great way to to build up your collection. This brush is hecka soft. Build up your collection without um, shoving out a whole bunch of cash. But this is just the brush and it just says P12 down here. This brush is really soft and just oh I like this brush a lot actually this is I'm pretty sure we got this because the last item in here is a sculptor palette from pure cosmetics this retails for $30 and comes in a little sleeve but I'm pretty sure that's why we got this to go with this Let me get out the sleeve and now the plastic. Oops. Hold on, it's my daddy. Uh -huh. uh, hello. Uh, change, Not yet, daddy. I'm gonna get it done. Why are you rushing? You've been waiting three months. Now all of a sudden you want to hurry up and do it. Sure. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway. So this is the plastic. Oh Lord, they don't be playing with their stuff. They do not want you to get into this. Lord, damn. I mean, it's secure. I can't complain about that. Lord help. I don't want this video to be too long. Uh-oh, the baby is starting to wake up. Okay, now that that's done, this is what it looks like. Just the pure sculptor palette. Ooh. And four colors. Two sculpting colors and two highlight. And two I, sm I thought it smelled like chocolate for a second. I got a whiff of chocolate when I open this up. Do I do I smell like chocolate? I don't know. But these colors are very deep and I love that because these will definitely contour a, ga a gamut of, of brown sisters. So I love that. Usually when we get these kind of things in here, they're too light for women of color. So I appreciate the fact that these are colors that women of color can wear. Um, and then these are two real highlighters. Usually they'll give you like a matte highlighter shade. Both of these are legit highlighting shades. Um, so let's swatch these real quick. Ooh. Ooh. The highlighters are beautiful and soft. Oh, and so are the... Oh my gosh. They're so crank. Oh my goodness. They are so buttery and creamy. Lord help. So there's one highlight. There's the other highlight. One contour. And the other contour. Look at those highlights. And this is matte, by the way. There's no gloss to that. And I don't know why they called it that. Um, but yes, one of the... So this one is more of a, like a yellow gold frosted gold this one is more like a rosy copper gold and then you've got the two contour shades oh that's beautiful so yeah guys that is it I'm very pleased with the box this month um I will use everything that came in it um the only thing that I could think that I might not use is this lip color but that's only because I have so many lip colors that I might just give it to someone or something but and this is a color that I have other colors similar to it and I'm kind of moving out of the liquid lip stage, the dry liquid lip stage. I love a glossy pretty lip so that's what I'm into right now so I don't want to waste it so I might gift it to somebody but that's it guys. Anyway I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I should be coming with my Ipsy unboxing shortly like a couple days I guess because they told me it was coming but it hadn't made it here yet so we'll see when it gets here anyway guys I love you so much thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye <laughs>